thank you for watching this video so my intention here is to make a tribute to one of a one fine teacher one great teacher that I love on YouTube and that's Teal Swan and a lot of her material has really transformed and helped many people including myself and I want to take some time here to shed some light on I'm aware of the hate mail that she receives on YouTube and I find it really sad that we are in supposedly the New Age movement, which is no longer New Age, by the way. And here is someone that's being genuine and loving and kind and open and honest about her past, what she's been through. I mean, I've had the blessing of guiding and meeting countless of individuals the last 10 years. Um, thousands of clients have come my way and I've heard stories some of the most inspiring stories and some of the most saddest ones too but hers like hers is really intense and she's been through a lot but the fact that she's been through to that extent of so much pain and suffering and still chooses to love and be kind and want to help people that's magic that's healing that's real and for people to just want to talk shit and just say their opinion and throw it out there i respect you and i understand in some ways where you're coming from but at the same time i don't why can't love and pain coexist why do they have to oppose one another and because we have this perspective that they do we move from pain to suffering and then we push love away making it separate from suffering from pain when it doesn't have to be like that love is in everything and in everyone and including pain and when we deny that we move into suffering and suffering means not being sweet and understanding and being compassionate i believe in the art of conversation and this is something that i've been looking to master for the last little while and I believe in that because we are humans, we use language and words, and we have to interact constantly with each other. The art of conversation, to me, is love. I don't think love is a word, love is a conversation. Because love has a spectrum, we've all experienced it to such a vast degree, which includes pain and obviously suffering. So when someone's journey comes along our way, and they're actually being real about their own suffering but still want to help that deserves respect that deserves self-respect because then that changes the attitude from the attitude of scarcity to abundance why because some other teachers teaching a beautiful meditation or guidance and because you do that she shouldn't or because she's not perfect or because she still is integrating her past come on man it's not being real it's being fake spirituality does not need to be in judgment anymore the way the old ways of spirituality and religion was we don't have to separate each other you can be kind and supportive and youtube is an <laughs> infinite wormhole of conversations, of interactions, of people. We all know that we've seen trolls, we've seen people that hide behind the screen and talk shit, and that are so rude. They really use volatile language and hide behind the camera. I'm not just talking about what's happened to Teal Swan, and just in general. There's so much hate in the world. But really, it's not hating the world. It's self-hate. Because if we mastered self-love, it would be so boundless and accessible for us to offer it to the world. But because we have not mastered self-love, but we think we're wise or spiritual, it's not real. It's not fully grounded. And it's 
definitely not making any circumstance comfortable for anyone. Peace. Really, peace is what we're all looking for. Peace is always there and accessible. It's not something that we're looking to create. It is our state of being. But we deny that of ourselves through judgment, through fear, through suffering and shame. So anyways, I want to take some time to really stand up for a sister that I have never met in my life. <laughs> she probably doesn't know who I am. But you know what? I know who she is. And I stand up for justice because you know what? Some things we need to talk about. And this is just a conversation that needs to continue. It was how much respect we're honoring each other, especially on the path of light workers or energy workers or you know, spiritual workers, all that stuff. We don't need to be so singular or so alone we can work together and cooperate and create because that's our destiny but we're denying that of ourselves this is causing suffering in so many ways it doesn't have to be like that i'm done i'm i'm actually done with a world that has mastered war <laughs> I'm done i don't want to be of this world But I want to be part of the new world. And it's not even new or ancient. It's actually a natural way of being. It really is. I just don't believe it. So. Teal Swan, you're the shit. Keep doing what you're doing. I really honor your path and what you've been able to offer so many countless beings around the world. I've learned a lot from you, particularly some of your meditations like the water meditation, and I've transformed it into my own life, and I've created my own version of it in some ways. Uh, so thank you, and I know you're strong and I feel it because you're so strong that you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Show everyone that you still have those places within you that needs more love and not less, like Matt Kahn says. And even through that, and even through the judgment, I can see through your eyes that you're still, you're still persevering, persevering. <laughs> Sometimes I have these issues with words. <laughs> you're still being strong and having courage and facing every day. And you know what? That's the magic of being human. We've been able to, in some way, survive and survive in suffering. <laughs> You know, all that we've done. Imagine thriving beyond suffering. We won't be denying pain. Just be embracing it as a choice that we're here all to experience, really.